running for president here in 2004, which he and his advisors blamed on Russia. The poisoning at the time scarred his face brutally, the price, it seems, simply for standing up to the candidate Putin wanted. Here's our conversation about what Ukraine is facing today. Russia has amassed an enormous force in the east. Can Ukrainian forces prevail there? If you understand correctly what is going on in the east of Ukraine, then yes, I would say, of course, uh, we will win. Because what's going on in the east of Ukraine is, uh, uh, while Ukraine is fighting uh, this Moscow threat, it's uh, one of the gigantic battles of our times. It is a battle between good and evil. It is a battle between light and darkness. And therefore, of course, it's not a regional battle. It's not a battle between Russia and Ukraine. How does this standoff in Mariupol end? Is it possible? Should a third country try to extract Ukrainian forces and civilians? Uh, Mariupol is a symbol. Mariupol is a symbol, is a symbol of the Ukrainian nation, and it has become a symbol for the world. And of course, um, if we talk about it, uh, yesterday we uh, heard a statement from our Ukrainian armed forces, and they said that they are not going to lay down arms. Uh, they uh, are going to defend uh, the uh, uh, the remaining part of Mariupol, and if they have to leave out, if they have to get out of the encirclement, they will do so with their weapons in hand. Uh, but for Putin, Mariupol is uh, possibly one of those victories that he needs to secure before their sacred, sacred date of the 9th of May, um, that they usually arrange their victory parades on this date and uh, their, their, uh, sort of their witch's Sabbath. Uh, so. Mariupol is a significant date for him. Uh, that's the issue. You yourself have suffered immeasurably at the hands of Putin, poisoned by forces friendly to him, perhaps in retaliation for your role in the Orange Revolution. Do you believe that Putin or other Russian leaders will ever be held accountable for their alleged war crimes here? Uh. I think if we want to secure an, uh, a proper world order, and uh, we need to think about how we're going to live in the future with such a fascist state as Russia, a terrorist state that organizes and finances terrorism around the world. In the 21st century, how has it even uh, been able to do that? Uh, a state that kills people, uh, kills uh, civic initiatives. Uh, and um, so we need to understand how that we have to work out how to live with that and uh, how to organize uh, and this new uh, international sp space that I'm sure we will. Um, and we will need to organize a response to this genocide in Ukraine against uh, uh, thousands of Ukrainian villages that have been destroyed now, I'm sure, and uh, Ukrainian cities. Uh, so I think the response to this question lies ahead. Russia conducted a test launch of a new ICBM right in the middle of this war. Putin said very publicly it should cause anyone threatening Russia, quote, to think twice. Is this just rhetoric in your view or a sign of a leader who, when threatened, might escalate here? Putin Putin well, Putin is a liar. Uh, he lies all the time. Uh, he has a huge inferiority complex. He needs, uh, you know, he he's, uh, uh, suffers from this complex so much he needs to wear heels that are higher um, uh, on his shoes. And uh, so for his ambitions, he, he has, it, it, his ambitions are too high. He has uh, exaggerated ambitions for himself and for his country. Uh, and uh, so 
as yet another uh, th this this missile that they tested yesterday uh, this is yet another uh, achievement that they are saying uh, they, they're putting they're uh, uh, putting this forward as yet another achievement uh, but I'm sure that this is either something shop soiled or something that will never see the battlefield um, Putin keeps shifting his emphasis on the battlefield and in his dialogue with the West. And uh, his nuclear rhetoric is basically a bluff. And uh, he is uh, bluffing. It, it is the bluff of a, a gangster from Leningrad. And uh, he needs this bluff so that uh, he can... Uh, reconcile himself with the failure of the first phase of the war, with this blitzkrieg that failed. And uh, this isn't commented on in Russia at all. But he is shifting these uh, emphases with the West uh, because he is uh, he needs to stop the West helping Ukraine. And uh, so this bluff is to intimidate, is aimed at intimidating the West and stopping it helping Ukraine and pursuing the political course that uh, and, and uh, position that has been taken in the West. Um, and. Uh, uh, so uh, that's its true purpose. Putin is bluffing, he says, from a man who has felt his wrath very personally before. Just a short time from now, President Biden will address the nation on U.S. support for the Ukrainians in this war. And we've just learned what 